In today's video, I'm going to show you how to remove reflections from your photos with just one click using Photoshop. First, make sure you're using the latest version of Photoshop. You can check this on your Adobe Creative Cloud app. I'm using version 26.2 here. Once you've updated, go ahead and open Photoshop. Now, before we get into the fun part, there's a little setup we need to do. Go to Edit, Preferences, Camera Row, and then find the Technology Previews tab. Here you will see an option to enable the new AI features and settings panel. It's turned off by default, so just enable it, then click OK. Now keep in mind that you will need to restart Photoshop for this change to take effect, so go ahead and do that. Once you've got Photoshop restarted, you can bring in your photo. To do that, you can go to File, Open. Personally, I prefer to just drag and drop my image straight into Photoshop is just quicker. If you're working with a raw file, the camera raw window should pop up automatically. Now, if you're working with a non-raw image, the camera raw window won't open automatically, but you can still open it yourself. Just make sure your image layer is selected, then go to filter, camera raw filter, and you will be able to access the settings. By the way, I grabbed this photo right here from a website called Signature Edits. It's a great resource if you're looking for high quality raw files to practice with. It took me forever to find a photo with reflections for this demo and their website saved the day. So shout out to Signature Edits. Now to remove the reflections, select the eraser tool from the toolbar. Here you will see an option called distraction removal under which you will find the reflections removal feature. If the reflections option is grayed out, it's probably because your photo is not in a RAW format. Right now, this feature only works with RAW files, but chances are by the time you're watching this video, Adobe might have added support for other formats like JPEG. Samsung has a similar feature on their Galaxy devices that I covered in another video, and it works on JPEG images. So I don't see why this wouldn't come to Photoshop in the near future. So it's worth checking if the feature is available for you. If the option is available, all you need to do is enable it and Photoshop will take care of the rest. It only takes a few seconds to process and you're done. Look at that. It's so clean. I don't see any reflections anymore. And honestly, it's so simple and easy. It feels like cheating. But if you take a closer look, you will notice that the reflection on her glasses haven't been removed. That's because this feature works best on window reflections, like when your subject is photographed through a window. I've tested it on other surfaces like cars or glasses, and in cases like this, it doesn't work very well. But don't worry, I will link some useful tutorials in the description for you to check out if that's what you're dealing with. You can also adjust the removal strength using this slider, move it slightly to the left, to bring back some of the reflections for a more natural look or go all the way to the left to see just the reflections that were removed. This is a very cool way to see exactly what Photoshop has detected and removed. You can always make additional edits in the adjustments tab if you want to tweak colors, lighting or anything else. When you're done, just hit open and you're good to go. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials like this. Stay creative and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.